A U.S. ship evacuated on May 1 docked in the port of Jeddah, after evacuating from Sudan hundreds of people of 16 different nationalities. Among the 300 evacuees were 100 U.S. citizens who were first taken from evacuated from Khartoum to Port Sudan and then to Jeddah. Saudi border guards and members of the U.S. Embassy greeted the evacuees with flowers and well wishes. We're extremely happy as you know we've been working 24-7 around the clock to secure our American citizens and get them home. And this is that first step in that journey said U.S. Consul General, Faris Assad. Countries have conducted one of the biggest international evacuations in years as their nationals flee the sudden outbreak of fighting in Sudan. Some foreigners have been airlifted out while others have traveled about 800 kilometers by road from the war-torn capital Khartoum to Port Sudan on the Red Sea to board ships. Here is where the efforts stand. We just welcomed today um, 300 people of this uh, ship behind me. It's an American ship that brought evacuees from Port Sudan. We're extremely happy. As you know, we've been working 24-7 around the clock to uh, secure our American citizens and get them home. And this is that first step in that journey, and we're thankful. We're thankful to countries around the world. Here in Jeddah, we're thankful to the government of Saudi Arabia, the people of Saudi Arabia, and uh, we look forward to just getting our people home. It was very hard. Like I had to take like a long trip from Khartoum to Port Sudan. Uh, I left my family back there because they couldn't leave their home. So yes, it was very hard. But since I got on the ship, it was very good. والله هذا يعني شعور لا يوصف ان الواحد يكون كله يعني هو والاسره كلهم بامان الناس كثيره هناك عندها مشاكل ما قادره ما ما عندها فلوس ما عندها مصاري ناس كثير معلقه فنحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى اول والشكر لاهل المملكه على هذا الاستقبال والشكر للامريكان على هذا الاجلاء